Anna, good morning. I thought I would make this for you to look at, um, but I'm also happy, of course, to meet up with you and do it in person on your laptop if you want to bring your laptop to a um, coffee shop or I can come to the ECRC. Um, we meet in person again in April, which is not that far away, actually, <laughs> now that I look at it. Uh, we're due to meet in person on April 3rd, um, which is only a week and a half away. So I'd be happy to like arrive a little early if you want to bring your laptop and I could show you. But I thought I would at least just kind of give this little overview um, for you in the meantime. There's no rush to start doing it, of course, but I wanted to make sure that um, I was a good friend to you. <laughs> So, um, I've got Blackboard open, which of course you'll be able to do also. And then if I scroll down, right, and I'm over here, I'm just going to move my screen a little bit to needs grading. Um, you would skip that, um, and go to full grade center. So you open that up and you find the candidate's name. So let's say, um, we'll, let's go down to Carolyn, um, cause you're familiar with her. So maybe that would make it easier. So you, I don't know if you grade in Blackboard now, um, but you will just grade the same way you do if you are grading in Blackboard. It'll just be the same, um, except that the modules are set up a little differently in here. So if I go to Carolyn, where are you, Carolyn? There you are. Okay, so you can see Carolyn, see that high number there? That's because I've assigned her credit for the modules that you uh, already did with her face-to-face -face that we, you know, you put in the open org plan. Um, and those, I have no issues with um, putting those in because you did the face-to-face -face training and you entered the TRIS credit, so that's a match. And um, Hans has said that is not problematic in terms of the relationship to TRIS um, because you would have the course materials from the credit you gave them. You would, as a trainer, we have to keep our records for three years. He said, because you would have those records and be able to produce them, um, it, it would be fine. So we have Carolyn here, you know, you see all these checks, right? Like, so I'm gonna go over, <coughs> here's one that's not checked yet. Um, she's still gonna be working on, but as an example, I'm gonna show you what you would do. Because when you go into these candidates, you're gonna see all this type of thing where there's no scores entered, right? But you're gonna enter scores for them. So, when you go in, um, you're going to click view grade details and you can see that um, she hasn't submitted anything. So you just go into manual override and you enter two. So I would enter two and then save. Now I've, I've overridden the grade, right? So now she's covered. She's got that covered. I'm going to revert because I don't want her covered on that, <laughs> as you know. But I wanted to show you how that looks. So you're basically going into view grade details and then manual override. And for this, you enter a two. Okay. For some of them, let's go back. So I'm just going to go back. Um, oh, it doesn't want to go back for me. Hold on. Sorry about this. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong. This is the story of our lives, isn't it? <laughs> so, okay, let me go back in here. Um, actually, go down to full grade center again. Um, open it up. And then there's another type of assignment that you'll have to override. Um, or enter a credit for, excuse me, we're not overriding. I keep forgetting that. We're doing manual overrides, um, and those are a little different. So um, go back here to um, all the way back, all the way back. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're going to go to, um, let's look at this one. She, Chastity Reed is no longer with us because of that little sign there. I know she, they're going to disappear. But you're also going to look through this as you go across. You're going to look for any that you're going to credit them with. So if you know you're going to credit them with Module 1, Lesson 1, Health and Safety, say, you first go to the module here, and then you view grade details, and this time you can see it's the same process, manual override. On the modules, though, it has to be 100%. So you're going to enter 100 on these, and now um, she's done. So if we go back, uh, we'll go return to Grade Center. Thank you. Um, you can see now it's checked here um, that, that this person has done this. Okay. So I guess, you know, what I'm, uh, I'm going to get rid of this actually. <laughs> um, I don't want that in there. So I'm going to leave it like that. So basically these check marks mean, I'll show you one of these, view grade details. So you can see um, Aracely Riojas, I did override this because they had gone in and done the module, but the timer on the Blackboard thing didn't work. So I had to do a manual override and I put a hundred in there. So for the modules, you're doing a hundred points. For the assignments, you're doing two points. So it, it is a little bit tricky um, in the beginning, but I think you'll catch on to it really quick because the way Erica set this up, all of the modules that are worth a hundred points, you can see they have check marks, right? And that's how you know those are just them viewing the module and taking the little practice quiz. Then on this side, you can see these are the lessons, module two, lesson two. This is where it starts to get really tricky, but you can still see these are checks, okay? So then you get all the way over here where their assignments start. This is when you start to see twos. Um, so you'll have lesson one, part two, and then the grade. So all of that um, is graded with a two. So you can see Savannah Price here, this exclamation point means that <coughs> she has submitted, but um, she needs her grade updated. So those you don't have to pay any attention to. If you see any of those in your candidates um, space, let me know because they should not be there. So I'm hoping this is a little bit helpful. I don't know. It may make things worse. <laughs> anyway, I'm just trying to let you know what it's going to look like. But on April 3rd, when we're together, let's plan out when we can. I have a meeting right afterwards with John and Erica um, Renee, so I can't do it after, but I could come early if you can. Okay. <laughs> All right. Love you, friend. Hope this helps. If not, just disregard it, <laughs> throw it in the trash. <laughs>